Today, I'm going to be telling you about CO to CO2, catalytic conversions using palladium. So first, let us start with some basic information that you should know that will help you throughout this presentation. First, what is a catalytic converter and what does it do? Well, a catalytic converter changes carbon monoxide, which is CO, to carbon dioxide, which is CO2. Now, most catalytic converters use some type of metal, such as palladium, which is what I'm going to be discussing with you, or another valuable metal, which is platinum, but that is much more expensive. And lastly, they are commonly found in cars to help reduce toxic emissions. So, let's think of this as a diagram. Here in my hands, I'm holding a coffee filter. Now imagine that this coffee filter is our catalytic converter. And instead of adding in coffee grinds and water to create coffee, we add in super toxic emissions that will go through this catalytic converter. They will be oxidized and out will come carbon dioxide, which is better for you and better for the environment. So carbon monoxide versus carbon dioxide. What exactly are the differences? I mean, they both have carbon and they both have oxide. But what is the mono and geo? How does that change anything? Well, carbon monoxide is a colorless and odorless gas that is composed of one carbon atom and one oxygen atom. Whereas carbon dioxide is composed of one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. But it is also a colorless and odorless gas. Now, how exactly does the one oxygen atom affect anything? Well, carbon monoxide is very, very toxic to you. It is dangerous for humans to breathe in, and it is the leading cause of poisoning death in America. So, carbon dioxide, on the other hand, is actually what plants take in that they need to survive, and in return, they produce the oxygen in which we breathe. Now, my partner Giselle would like to talk to you about the research conducted by scientists helping to back up our statements. The research that I will talk to you about today was performed by Dr. Hu Han Kwok and Dr. Tao Pi, along with a group of professors from the Chemical Science Department from UNIST. They conducted an experiment when they, they used palladium atoms and white ammonia supports. They wanted to calculate the movement of palladium atoms using the X-ray absorption spectroscopy and the aberration correction scanning Transmission electron viscosity. So they wanted to do this to figure out how these electrons moved to get a deeper understanding of the element palladium. When they did this experiment, they used two sets of parallel samples, one of them being palladium and aluminum, and the second parallel set being lithium and aluminum, to confirm the presence of the intermingled palladium and lithium on a white aluminum surface. Well, what does this experiment tell us? What is the results from this experiment? What can we do with them? Well, this led to the Institute for Integrated Catalysts at PNNL to, and other places to design other catalysts that will remove pollution from chemical exhaust emissions to operate on a DOE target of 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I will pass on to Chance to explain to you the following diagram that you see here. So first, let's start off with a pretty simple and basic diagram that uses real life pictures of this process. So right here, we have the carbon monoxide plus two oxygen, which is the oxidization process. In the middle, we have this arrow, which would represent the catalytic converter. And as we can see here through this picture, instead of it just being completely black, it's slowly starting to fade. And at the very, very end, we see that it's finally transformed into carbon dioxide and is now much paler and looks completely different from the above before. Next, we have this diagram, which actually has three models on it. Model A, Model B, and Model C. So for Model A, it is the lanthanum and palladium relationship in the LA2-PDO4 structure. Model B is the space filling Y alumina 100, surface model spine with a spinal basis, and it also includes lanthanum and palladium. And lastly, Model C is for the EXA-FS fit which is based upon Model B. Now, what exactly do all the different colors represent? Well, the red circles represent the oxygen atoms, the light blue circles represent the lanthanum, and the gray ones represent the aluminum. And lastly, we can see right here and here, and all the way over there, the darker blue ones, which represents the palladium itself. 
Notice the, the significant contrast between the use of lanthanum and palladium atoms as opposed to oxygen and aluminum. That is because the white aluminum surface, which is represented by model B, is what holds it together, whereas you need less palladium in order to translate it and cause the carbon monoxide to be oxidized, forming carbon dioxide. So, what exactly does this all mean for you? Well, next time you're considering getting a catalytic converter, you should use a palladium one, because platinum is not only more expensive, it is less efficient and requires higher temperatures in order to be working. Palladium is cheaper, better for the environment, easier to use, and overall, it's much, much easier and simpler. Thank you. Thank you this, for your time. This has this been, been our TED Talk, Talk presentation. presentation.